happening, everyone? This is Neil Turbin with the Metal Voice. We're here at Rock for Ronnie with the one and only Rudy Sarzo. Hey, Neil. Rudy, Good man, it's such an you, honor man. to see you. Good to see you. And uh, hey. we go back a few years, man. Yeah, we do. I remember uh, auditioning for Driver in 1986 wow. with you and Tommy Aldridge wow. and Kurt James. Wow. That's and then you, just ago. before you guys went and joined Whitesnake. Yeah. Well, there was a, actually, we got a. As far as that goes, uh, we put a, the band was actually became with Tony McAlpine and uh, and Rob Rock on vocals, and we did a record for me, um, metal. What's that? The uh, Mike Mike Varney's Mike label. Varney, yeah, yeah. What was it, what, what, what's that label called? The uh, Brady's putting me on the spot again. Yeah, it's okay. I'm, okay, it's a long time ago, but yes, yes, that's, but that's all right. And we love Rudy. Yeah. So tell me, Rudy, what about I can't hold on? How did that? Yes. Th how did that come about? Like, uh, is that a surprise to you when, yeah, when, when was, they put it out? Yeah, it was. It was a surprise to everybody because Alex wrote that song and the music, and then he gave it to Kevin. Kevin sang on the demo. He wrote, you know, the melody and, and the vocals and the lyrics, and then they put it away in a computer, and he had forgotten about that. So when I came back to the group, uh, we were all looking for songs from our catalogs. And he found that, so that was really a surprise. Like, oh wow, I forgot about this song, you know. So uh, yeah, that's Frankie on drums, and myself on bass, and of course Alex and um, and Kevin. And another thing that I thought was pretty pretty mm -hmm. amazing, I remember before I met, ever met you, when I was you know probably 14, 15, I saw this photograph, yeah. and it was of Ozzy's band, Blizzard yeah. of Oz, yeah. with you yeah. and Randy yeah. and, and with Tommy, Tommy and yeah. you're sitting there on these steps. Yeah. And that's like the indelible image in my mind before the I came out to the- Disney World. Disney yeah. World. In Florida, yeah, Orlando, yeah. So yeah. is that an actual press photo that was used as a, a no, promotional no. photo? Well, I, I tell you exactly what was going on that afternoon. It was the last day of the, of, of the tour, of the Blizzard of Oz US tour and uh, we were playing in Daytona Beach. So they decided to like, okay, next tour is gonna be Diary of the Mad Men. We need photos for the, uh, for the tour book. And so I said, okay, well, Ross Halford is here. Let's go to Disney World. Use that as the background. And that, that was it. That's all I knew. It was gonna be photos for the, uh, for the tour book. And then it shows up in the inside sleeve of the uh, Diary of the Mad Men. Yeah. So I got a Randy Rose question. So so with all of the time that's gone by, the, the way that the world is, the way that the music world is yeah. these days, yeah. where do you think Randy would be musically today? Well, he wanted to go back to school to get his degree in music. I know that. Uh, he gave notice to Sharon Ozzy that that's what he wanted to do that. And uh, so I think he would have further his education in music, have gotten a doctorate in music, and then probably gone in, you know, I, there's a possibility that he could have stayed with Ozzy. You know, kind of like what Zach does, that he goes between what he does as a solo artist and also be part of, uh, of Ozzy Osbourne. And I got two more questions because I know you got to get on stage. So I was just wondering, how do you, you know, how do you shift gears from working with David Coverdale, working with Ozzy Osbourne, working with Quiet Riot, Kevin Dubrow, and, and of course Randy back in the day, and, and, and working with you know, Dio, Ronnie James Dio, we're here at yeah. the Rock for Ronnie. I mean, yeah. and that's not even all the bands that you play with, because, yeah. you know, you work with Adrian, yeah. you're just sitting there talking with Adrian Vandenberg, yeah. and and also Queensryche and Jeff Tate. Yeah, Jeff Tate. Right. So so how do you work with these, I mean, oh, simple. even the Wendy Dio's, I yeah. mean, I met, I, I remember being at Lemmy's funeral, and you were yeah. there yeah. with talking with, um, you know, Sharon and yeah. Ozzy. So how do you, like, get along with all these people? Oh, get along? And, and work through... I, the I, different scenarios, because yeah, uh, there's a lot of politics with everybody yeah, but, uh, in this business. One of the biggest gifts I get uh, from being in so many bands and playing with so many people is having to play with them, uh, learning from them, and and uh, being in their presence. And uh, it's it's having them in my in my own personal journey through life. And uh, as far as musical directions, you know, it's all the same twelve notes. It's how you treat them. Well, I admire that about you because you know you're you're like someone that you know it's like you can shape shift into all these different bands yeah. and like it, well you know I, I grew up in with top 40 music so I'm, I I learned diversity by nature because that's what we played it is uh, you know you be in a band that one day you know one song will be you're having my baby by Paul Anka and the, the next one is smoke in the water you know so it's like 
whatever's on the radio, that's what we played, you know. Well, I know you got to get on stage, but I just yeah. want to ask one last one. Yeah. So is there anything that's upcoming with Quiet Riot? Anything oh, new? Yeah. Well, a right release, now, a recording, well, an album? Right right now, our, our strategy is to do a song at a time. You know, because what happens is we, we have, we have you know, at least, at least two albums that we got to play songs from those records. That's Mental Health and Condition Critical. That's the set. And for us to record a new album and have to pick three songs to stick on the record, I mean, on the set, it's pretty impossible. So why, why record a whole album if you're just gonna play one song? So right now it's one song at a time. That, that so are you really working use. on another song oh, right no, now? Oh no, no, no. We yeah, we have songs in the can already. And it's just a matter of finding the right time to release. And is there it. any other archive songs with Kevin or with? Uh, you never know. From, from you never Alex know. Make Alex or Frankie. Might, uh, yeah, Alex might find some stuff. Yeah, uh, the, 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 the other songs that was, was actually Frankie playing drums. You know, it's always now, and now i got to go on stage. That's right. Good answer. Thank you, Rudy.